Hey guys, it's Malin and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys are notified when my next video comes up. All right guys, so I'm back with another mukbang and on today's menu, I have some Filipino crispy pata over here and I have some um, soy vinegar garlic dip, I guess, um, to go with my crispy pata and my white rice. Of course, if you're eating crispy, like deep fried food, like you always have to have rice with some sauce. Like that's such a staple <laughs> in Asian cultures. Um, yeah, so crispy pata, like if you don't know what this is, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like the pork foot, pork foot. Um, it's really crispy. I don't know if you can really hear that and um yeah like this big freaking piece went to my local grocery store seafood city to pick this up it was already cooked there was no way i'm gonna cook this on my own so i don't really eat a lot of crispy pata to be honest i eat more of pork belly um i've had this so many times and i really really like it it's just so crispy and to be honest i don't really see crispy pata that often well wherever i am so yeah and Today, I'm be craving some Filipino food because, you know, I am a Filipina girl. Okay, that sounded so cheesy. But let me explain this sauce. So basically, it's literally in every Filipino dish, not every Filipino dish, but most dishes, where it's just um, for the dipping sauce, you just have vinegar, soy, and um, garlic, or you can add some onion. I think this has some radish in it, some pickled radish. Um, that I got from Seafood City and then of course some white rice. All right, so before I get started, I'm going to get my drink ready. I don't have a big cup today. <laughs> All right, so let's dig in. Ooh, I just want to give you guys a close up of like what this actually, this big freaking massive pig foot like looks like. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it a pig foot? I don't know. I should have done my research before this, and I'm Filipino and I should know this. But yeah, girl, don't eat crispy pata that often. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you guys can really hear how crispy that is. Like, oh my god. Okay, anyways. Ooh. Look at that fat. Honestly, this, the ratio, to my rice to meat ratio is totally off. Like, if you're Asian, that ain't enough, but it's okay. Mm. Of course, you gotta use your hands. Mm. Mm. The sauce is so good, like, I can eat it with everything. Mm. I can't even imagine cooking this at home. You would need a lot of freaking oil for this. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I eat a lot of more pork belly. Like, pork belly is so good. Like, if you guys haven't had leech on, if you guys are a meat lover, you need to try Filipino leech on. It's basically like roasted pork chopped up. 
Mm. And chicken skin's my favorite too. It's so bad for you. Oh, shit. I think the, one of the first times I had crispy pot that was when I went to the Philippines. The very first time I went to the Philippines. Mm. And I ended up loving it. I mean, anything deep fried is so good, right? Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is so hard to rip. Oh, look at all that fat. Honestly, I like, I'm kind of sad I don't have as much Filipino food <clears throat> as I used to anymore when I was little because obviously I don't live with my mom <laughs> who did most of the Filipino cooking. So it's nice to have like grocery stores like Seafood City that make pretty many like Filipino food already. Although not all items on their menu are the greatest. Mm. This thing is <coughs> really hard to pull together. The girl at the seafood city she's like do you want me to cut this for you i was like no 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 i want to just as is because i like ripping apart the meats especially i love the chicken skin chicken sorry i keep saying chicken skin i like the crispy pork skin especially with vinegar Mm. just super deep fried like it's really firm but inside it's like soft mm. and it ain't right if you're not eating with your hands you know so hard to talk guys <laughs> hope you're enjoying my eating sounds Yeah, so this is a little, it's not as warm as when I first got home. So, that, see, that's the part that, that there's a, I think the reason why I like leech on more is because it's, the skin is super, super crispy. This is really, really crispy too, but it's more like fatty crispy. I don't know why, but 
I have a crispy, crispy skin. Mm. Feels like I'm not, I'm barely making a dent in this thing. Huh? Mm, that looks firm. <laughs> Yeah, like I mentioned, this the very first time I did have this was in the Philippines, and I really, really liked it. And I don't know if I've talked about this in my previous videos, but I've been to the Philippines twice. First time was just for, well, I think three times, but I went when I was little, and that doesn't really count. But yeah, I went to the Philippines, as I remember, twice. And the very first time when I went to the Philippines, oh my god. So I have half of my family here in Canada and then half of my family in the Philippines. My family in the Philippines might be watching this right now. Hi guys. <laughs> but yeah, the very first time in the Philippines, um, <clears throat> my cousins here in Canada were like scaring me. They're like, you're not gonna like it. It's gonna be so bad. They just had bad experiences, I guess, when going to the Philippines. Because when you're little, you're not really like wanting to go to the Philippines, right? It's usually when you're like older from the other side really so I was like I was going into that trip like not wanting to go and then I ended up leaving that trip like missing all my family and I really had a good time like during my first time um, I got to see a lot of things like it opened my eyes more but anyways like yeah like I ended up having a really good time with my cousins um, I got along with you know my cousins there which I thought I wouldn't because it is a little bit of a language barrier <laughs> I don't well to be honest like I can speak simple sentences in Tagalog which is like the main language in Philippines I believe correct me if I'm wrong well that's the only one that I know my family knows how to speak um, but yeah, so like I could only understand it. I understand it 100%. It's just I can't speak full sentences. So it was kind of hard like talking to some of my cousins at first because they couldn't really understand what I was saying. And they probably, they couldn't understand me and I couldn't, I couldn't really understand them either. Well, Mind you, I could, but people in the Philippines talk fast. <laughs> mm, this looks crispy. <laughs> yeah, like, and the second time I went was for, like, family reasons, but my second time wasn't as enjoyable. <laughs> But I'm hoping to go there again. Um, I don't know, hopefully in the next few years, just because I want to, you know, visit family again. And I would love to go island hopping. I never did that at all. I like stayed in the province. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip this guy around. Get some more crispies. Yeah, and like, uh, I just wish that I did more, but I don't know, now that I'm older and I've traveled, I'm like, okay, well, next time I go there, I'm going to do some island hopping and lots of shopping. And I also got to meet like my cousins on my my dad's side, which is nice. Mm. 
my first time going there. Yeah, and I also got to meet like my dad's side, which was nice. They were really, really nice. So, hi, if you guys are watching this. <laughs> I'm like trying to savior my rice. I'm like, I hate when my rice is almost done. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Ooh. I'm trying to find more crisp parts. Like, it's right here. Because pretty much, this is where, like, the rest of the meat is here. And then it's just, like, bones. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, like, taking a look at what's inside. Because I don't eat this often, guys. I'm like, ooh. Oh my god, my rice is done. No! <laughs> mm. Or the rest of this guy, my hands are freaking filthy. <laughs> I didn't even like realize how much family like extended family i freaking had in the philippines i was like whoa when i first met them like my grandma introduced me um to like my extended family there's like literally triple the amount of like my regular family i'm like holy crap i'm like so overwhelmed literally meeting everyone every freaking day to different houses i was just like whoa it's really overwhelmed but yeah like that's I really that's what I really really love about Philippines is that like it's really like like family and like you know you're always hanging out and like you know eating that was like my favorite part there like eating in the Philippines <laughs> um I think my favorite part that I one of my favorite things that I had there was like what's it called um What's that called? It's like it looks like Tehran um, banana Q. There, that's what it's called. I got addicted, and I remember I'd always want that. Y'all, this is so hard to eat. Like I'm like, oh, what I think is meat. It's it's bone. It's literally bone. Like I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like bone, 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 bone. bone. Hmm. Hmm. yeah i have a lot of family there and like it sucks that half my family is like not here because you know it'd be really nice around christmas time if my whole family can get together but i remember leaving my very first time in the philippines i think i already said this in my story but 
I had like a horrible time coming back. I'll save that for another story time unless I've already said it in one of my other videos, but um, never again will I travel alone to the Philippines. Oh my god, it was so stressful. Okay, I'm like trying to get pieces, but it's like not crispy enough. Or it's like really hard for me to pull through and I don't want to break a nail. There you go. Ugh. Whoa, look at that. See, it's like mostly bone. Um, mostly fat, to be honest. That's what crispy pot is like, mostly fat. Also, before I forget, I also have another drink, my bubble tea that I forgot to, almost forgot to drink. Got this obviously from my local bubble tea place. One of my favorite bubble teas. This is the Young Coconut. Young Coconut bubble tea. Real Young Coconut. Sorry, I'm like seeing it. So weird. Oh, I used to hate bubbles, y'all, and I freaking love it now. Mmm. 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 Nothing like ending off a salty ass meal with something super sweet. This one is massive. Holy crap. Like, look at my face. The size of my fucking face. What the fuck? Hearts to take this these guys apart. Mm. Mm. 
I love raw garlic. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh. Okay, it looks like I barely touched it, but I swear I felt like I ate a lot of meat. Because there's only this meat left, and I'm going to save that for Phil. <laughs> and everything else is just fat and bone. My nose. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed me picking out to crispy pata. I, if you haven't had this yet, um, I suggest you try it. It is a little bit different than lechon if you've had that. Um, this one is a little bit more fatty. Lots, lots, and lots more bones. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Mao and M. And thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.